Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about that HAM. This is the HAM part 2 of uh, the hardware asset management HAM part 2. So if you have not guys watched my previous video, please go and watch my previous video because this is very recommended the previous video because we are interrelating with the previous video. Today we will mostly talk about the transform order and the CI mapping. Okay. Remember in the last video, if we type the inventory, we about to stop talk all these uh, topics here. Okay, so what what in this topic? One is the in stock. In stock means that whatever asset is in in stock available. So it is going nothing but it is going to the ALM hardware asset table, and the state is just only in stock. So those items are available. Now if I go to the stock rooms. Uh, you will be able to see the stock room we have created last time called stock 001 and the stock room type that we are talk about these are the types of stock rooms available now today we'll talk about these two part one is a transform order another is the transform order line so these two part we'll talk about so first if I go to the stock room and open these stocks remember last time we ordered the four cap four um, uh, assets and these four assets we actually give one person called I will tutor only one asset remaining three assets are uh, I am holding as a it is in actually in in stock mode and it is in a stock room it is not uh, give, give to anyone right so this item can be used okay so let's go back to the product catalog again in this product catalog, we created one hardware model and that hardware model is nothing but Mac 14 and here the end user can raise a item, right? So this time end user can raise a item. So let's go back and then order a um, catalog item. So let's talk example. This is the end user who are actually going here and ordering this catalog item like earlier right so or the user end user just click order now and then they, they are waiting for their fulfillment now you will be able to see one request will be generated and will one task will be directly associated with this request that is the this request which is nothing but the source request item we'll open this task and click the source request right now and see what happens now once you click the source or once you click that uh, uh, that options called source request you will be able to see this page and here it is may mentioning that to be source is one it means that one item can be source uh, one item is actually required and here previously the transformer stock was zero now it is one and i am going to select the source stock room our case is the stock 001 and I am moving that one of these destination stock room called stock room 001. So I am moving the, that asset from one stock room to the as another stock room that is called transformable stocks and then simply click submit. Once I click submit, you will be able to see one, you will be able to see one transform order is generated in this RITM that is called PO00 something like that. So this is one transform order generated previously it was generated the purchase order this time it's generate a transform order and if you go back here in this inventory module here you can see the transform order here and this transform order is just now generated if i do a jet to a this transform order is just now uh, it's generated from stock room one to this stock room this this one now open this transform order open this inside the transform order there is a transform order line open this transform order line and inside this transform order line you will be able to see one transform order or line task so remember one transform order inside that one transform line and inside one transform line there is a one transform order line task which is assigned um, in a in a state of open state now the fulfillment team have to be close this transform order line task 
once. So if you see the first task is nothing but ready to full main and second task is uh, to prepare the shipment. Now what we can do, we can right click directly in, instead of opening that, we can directly right click and assign to me. So the task can be assigned to yourself. Now you have to open this task and again this time this as task is assigned to you, you just have to be close this task. You will be able to see the third task is nothing but the shipment task. You need to close this shipment task also. I'll close all these tasks one by one. And then finally the receive task, you need to be close the receive task also. Actually the actual uh, the processing is happening in backend and you are once you are done once you ready to shipment once you shipped once you um, uh, received and then once you uh, delivered you should be close the task one by one once your all these task is closed now you can see this stage is changes to the deliver stage and then here the transform order stage changes to the deliver. Now if you go to this top room and you will be able to see there is a one hardware moved from one stock room to the another stock room. It's moved to that uh, one stock room to the another stock room. If you go to this transform order you will be able to see this, trans uh, this uh, transform order is fulfilled. So you uh, so uh, now if you go back to the template task here is the task what all the task should all the task is defined here for for after which stage which all tasks should be come up if you go back to this uh, transform uh, line order item you get that uh, five tasks right one two three four five tasks these all tasks are template are defined actually here okay so based on this defini definition transform order line task is getting generated one by one you can we don't have any subtask if you want you can create also the subtask so that's all about the transform order now i'll quickly go back and talk about that ci mapping so we talk about inventory we now if we go to the product or in a product catalog here we talk about all those stuffs now we'll talk about the asset in this asset we will talk about the all asset is nothing but it is going to the alm asset table and this table is uh, extended by this other table called consumable hardware software this table now if you go to this administrator sections we have three mappings one is the asset ci mapping asset ci installation uh, status mapping asset ci hardware status mapping we'll talk these three points uh, right now so if you remember um, if we go to this hardware assets and we few assets are created here call if you see these are assets are created now in these assets uh, i'll now in this asset, if I open this asset and this uh, CI, how these things are uh, configurable. So now if you see this asset tag and then here, here also the asset tags are there. Now if I update anything called 3, 4, the asset tag should be updated and uh, the CI asset tag also should be updated so they are related whenever you update the ci it will be update the asset and whenever update you will be update the asset it will be update uh, the ci so it will be bidirectional so that mapping is uh, uh, done in this asset ci mapping table so this table is basically mapped between uh, all those fields so if you see asset uh, asset ci field mapping if i open this is the one of the mapping mapping called asset field is this asset tag and configuration field is mapped to the asset tag if i change so it will be what as a referred like whatever value will be mapped so these two value are working based on this mapping basically now if you see there is a advanced view so advanced view nothing but whenever the certain condition will be matches if you want to update the ci then also you can 
put the condition or else whenever the certain condition will be matches to the configuration item then only if you want to update the asset in that case also you can do this advanced condition and match that asset fear mapping now we'll talk about uh, these two things mostly these are uh, these are the things are already configured but we'll talk all those stuff so this is called asset ci install status mapping if i go here so asset ci mapping will help you to sync between this state of asset to these um this status of your system uh, this status of your uh, actual uh, ci so if you see this is our asset and this is our ci but their uh, drop down and their drop down may not be matched because this uh, this drop down and this drop down may not be matched right so previously uh, in this uh, asset uh, ci field mapping it's actually mapped to that string to string like whatever value is in the string the cop value will be copied to the configuration item fields directly the string value but here our drop down value is actually not match with this asset asset state to do uh, the CI status or hardware status. In that case, we need two separate tables. One is the uh, asset CI install status, another is the asset CI hardware status mapping. So if I go to this asset, if you see there is a state field here, and if I go to the asset, basically asset have three major important field. One is the operational status, another is the status, and another is the hardware status. What these three fields? You can use any of these, but if you see asset CI uh, status mapping, which is nothing but from asset state to the CI uh, status field mapping, nothing else from asset state to CI status mapping. So if I go and click all, and if I show match with in use, so if you see in use means uh, if you select the asset state is in use, the CI state will be installed. It means that whenever the state asset state will be changed to the in use, the CI state will be installed. And the sync direction is the both. Like if you update the CI state, it will be work. If you update the asset uh, state, it will be work. Now let's pick other one. Let's uh, change to in stock. So whenever your asset, whenever your asset will be in stock and if you see um, the the substrate will be blank the configuration item will be in stock so let's see so this is my asset i change to this in stock and i have not changing anything i'm just selecting that substrate equal to none and i am i have to select the stock room for that uh, this case i'll select simply this stock so in that case automatically this asset state uh, status should be updated okay so let's save that once i save that you can see the status changes to the in stock here the sync direction is that from which direction it should be saying asset to the configuration or asset to the configuration or the both that direction is defined here now remember I just update that uh, asset uh, state, right? This state I just updated. And it's supposed to be update this status, not this hardware status. How this hardware status got updated? That is because we have another table called asset CI, a uh, hardware state mapping. This is controlling this mapping. So you can use any of this, but depending on your actual requirement, you can uh, use this, any of this table, okay? If you see, in stock whenever you select in stock and your uh, value is uh, blank basically in that case the configuration item will be as a in stock that you can see basically if you select in stock and um, and defective in that case configuration status will be defective let's change to this in stock and defective and save that once i save that you can see the status got updated as a defective because um in stock and if, if you select defective the configuration item should be defective and here what it is saying in stock and defective it should be pending uh, pending repair so 
Final thing is that we have a two different table. One is for uh, CI status and another is the hardware status, which is controlling from the actual source call uh, this one, uh, st uh, that hard asset state. So whenever the asset state will be changes, based on these two table, this CI will be mapping will be changes. That's it for today. I hope you guys like my video. Um, we'll talk few more things called software management in upcoming video. Uh, if you like my video, please uh, do subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want to watch any specific video, please uh, put in the comment box. Thank you very much.